Here's what you need to make this recipe. I'm using pepper flakes, about five cloves of garlic. Also, I am using salt and pepper, and as well as some honey. Also here we have some vinegar, it doesn't really matter. You can use the stale vinegar, apple cider vinegar, or whatever you have. We have some oyster sauce, as well as some soy sauce. Also, we have some all-purpose flour with unsalted butter. And over here we have a little bit of chicken broth. And of course, here is the star of the show, the chicken breast. Shall we begin? Let's get started. To begin, I am going to take a sharp knife and just slice my chicken breast right in the middle, just like that. All right, now that you have your chicken breast nice and sliced, you are going to take a meat tenderizer to flatten your chicken breast. Now, you don't have to use a meat tenderizer. You can also use a rolling pin if you don't have a meat tenderizer. Now, we're doing this is because we want the chicken to be nice and flat and that way it'll cook faster. Now, if you want, you can cut your chicken into bite size. If you don't wanna cut your chicken the way I cut mine, you can also cut them into bite size. Now it's time to season our chicken breast. What I'm doing first is drizzling a little bit of olive oil onto the chicken. Once I am done, I am going to use my hand to rub it in. Next, I am about to take my seasoning to season the chicken breast. I am using salt and pepper. And don't worry guys, I know I'm not using a lot of seasoning that I normally use, but all the flavor is going to come from the garlic, the oyster sauce, the soy sauce. This will come out so good once it's done, so just trust the process, okay? Now we're going to sprinkle the salt and pepper all over the chicken breast, then we're going to flip it over and of course add the salt and pepper on the other side. Now you're going to take your flour, you're going to dredge the chicken into the flour. You want a light coat of the flour, don't overdo it. You don't want the breading to be too heavy, so don't overdo it, and I'll show you guys what to do with it next. Once you are done adding the flour to all of your chicken, you're going to set them aside. To cook the chicken, I am going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter to a frying pan. Oops, I added a little bit too much. Two tablespoons, once melted, we're going to add the chicken in. As you guys can see, I have some new frying pan. I have some new cooking ware that I'm very excited to cook with, and this is not sponsored. I bought them from Amazon. I will have a link below if you're interested. So we're going to add the chicken in. Don't move it, don't touch it. Just let it cook for about five minutes per side, then flip it over, cook the other side. Y'all know how dry chicken breasts can be sometimes. Now, if you know how to properly cook them, it will not be dry. So don't overcook 
your chicken breast. That's the key. If you overcook it, it will be dry, guaranteed. Dry, dry, dry. So try not to overcook your chicken breast so it can be nice and juicy. Once your chicken is done cooking, you're going to remove it, set it aside. Just look how beautiful this came out. I just love cooking in this new frying pan because my food come out so colorful and not burnt. So what we're going to do now is use the same skillet. I know I washed mine, but use the same skillet. Add the rest of the butter in. You are going to cook your garlic, okay? That's, that's the garlic right there. Make sure you chop them pretty small unless you like chewing on big chunks of garlic so make sure you mince them so we're going to cook the garlic until it's kind of fragrant and turning golden brown and then you can add the remaining of the ingredients A few seconds later, I am going in with my dry pepper flakes. Don't add too much of this. A little bit goes a long way, okay? So I am going to add that in and stir it together. Next, I am going in with my honey. Just pour that in, mm -mm -mm. honey garlic. I love, love, love the combination of that flavor. All right, now I am going to stir it together as the honey is cooking. Make sure you're cooking it on medium low at this point. Now I'm going to be adding in my oyster sauce. Just stir it in. And of course I have to get every little bit of sauce. So I went ahead and grabbed a spoon and just scraped every little bit of oyster sauce that was on that little bowl. Now I'm going to be adding in my vinegar and of course you're going to add in the soy sauce as well. Like I said, you can add any type of vinegar in this, it doesn't really matter. Just to add some hints of vinegary flavor in there. Now I am going in with my chicken broth, of course. Once I'm done pouring that in, I am going to stir it, let it simmer and we want to let it simmer for about two to three minutes. Then you can add in your chicken. Now I am going to be placing the chicken right in the sauce. I know the sauce look a little bit watery now, but once you add the chicken, don't forget the chicken has that flour breading to it. It will make it nice and thick. And this is basically a few minutes after I turn down my heat, as you guys can see. And look how perfect our chicken looks. I am going to use some fresh parsley, just, you know, just, for garnish, just add it on top of there. And at this point, your meal, your dish is ready. This is how you make the perfect honey garlic chicken. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. I try my best to bring the best recipe for you guys because I love eating good and I want y'all to eat good as well. So I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up because what? This video definitely deserve a thumbs up. <laughs> so don't forget to do that for me guys. Also subscribe if you know. Leave me a comment below what type of side are you going to try with this dish and I'll see you all on the next recipe. Bye!
the barbecue is already setting up, so we will do some uh, uh, barbecue pork. I will marinate it first. So you make uh, a juice, put into some soy sauce, a tiny bit. This is a very dark soy sauce. A bit uh, time to say hello. Hello! Just a tiny bit because we have a, a tiny bit of salt because we will have a lot of uh, other things to make it salty. Hello! I think this is secret uh, lady is already becoming not so secret. Hello, bye bye. And another one. Hello. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye, and uh, we will put some miso paste. Miso paste. It's not easy to blend in. The, we will wait. Put some mm. alcohol. Some to make the wine, cooking wine. It's good enough. A little bit of sugar. Sugar. Have some. Uh, you can put something sour, and I have something. Let me see. I can put some of this uh, marmalade I made. Hmm. Still good. Oh, I made the previous time. I can use the sugar spoon, which is quite clean. Put a little bit marmalade, nothing wrong with it. Or you can put citron lemon. There is enough saltiness in it, I think. Enough liquid in it. Okay. And 
two, three, four, four pieces. Spicy sauce. I have not yet finished in lunchtime. Just a few drops of it. It is quite strong. I don't want to get it too strong. Four pieces. Each one get one piece. If you have five people in the family, so you might want to buy five pieces. Except you have a vegetarian at home. Otherwise, there will be five of them at home. Right? It's not very pleasant to fight over meat. What we are going to fight is over the size of it. And, uh, anyway, there will be there will be argument. There will be truth and choice. There will be compromise and. Uh, Such is life, Nespa. So put it now. They are good. Clean up all the utensils and cover it up. And uh, <coughs> I think our city is starting to ban plastic, so we still have some plastic from previous very clean plastic. So you can put plastic or cover it up and put it into the refrigerator so that uh, there's not too much flavoring from here and there. I will put it for half an hour, one hour, two hours until dinner time and uh, there will be two hours before we actually cook this uh, or put it on the grill for barbecue. So we will marinate it. Marinate it for two hours. That is it. Bon appetito. Thank you very much. Hello. Da 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 Next to me I have my wings. I also have one cup of flour that I'll be adding one teaspoon of paprika and about three quarter teaspoon of black pepper. 
a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of salt and go ahead to mix everything together so next it's time to cut our wings so I'm going to cut it with the flour Next, it's time to deep fry the wings and to check if your oil is hot enough. You can use a wooden skillet, a wooden spoon, and if bubbles come around, then you know your oil is hot enough. These wings were deep fried in medium high heat for about 8 to 10 minutes. They were also well done and you can take them out once you have that crispy top. Once your wings are well done, place them on a kitchen towel to drain excess oil. Here are the wings, very crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside and you can even have a piece and enjoy. The next step is to work on our marinade. I have about 3 quarter cup of barbecue sauce. Then added half a cup of honey. And this is an optional ingredient, but that is soy sauce. I added a little bit of it. Keep stirring this on medium heat. You don't want it to completely dry out, but you can see how it looks right now. It's starting to bubble a little. Go ahead to add in your chicken wings. Proceed to evenly cut the wings. As you can see on your screen, the marinade has dried up a little and that is what we are going for. And that shows you that the chicken wings have been coated very well and uh, the marinade is also sticking to the wings. There you have it. It was so delicious. You can garnish it with some spring onions. I had coriander and that's what I'm garnishing it with and it was perfect. You will absolutely love this recipe. It was bomb. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Don't forget subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you.